Okay, so here is an update video for my pursuit of Zeus the Moose, the frickin' lar one of the largest black-tailed deer I've ever come across in my entire existence. And uh, I haven't had time to report an update on him. Um, lots of people are bugging me about him, obviously. And uh, we definitely made it well known he was alive and I was pursuing him last year. A handful of years before me, obviously I knew about him. But uh, so here's my update. So uh, you can see this video clip here. This is the last clip I had of him. And it was after hunting had ended in December and he was actually on the opposite side of the valley where he normally winters and he was headed up. And he was headed up towards where they normally grow their antlers in the high alpine in the summertime. And I remember that in the back of my head when I saw that, I thought, like, uh-oh, he's really mixing it up. He's going up by himself against the direction of the main herd that goes this way and they migrate out and they take all the predators with them. And he's bucking against the norm and he went straight back up. He's heading straight back up and I never see him come back down. So uh, when I came back from traveling around the world, I woke up at like five in the morning and I hiked up this up in the up into the timber to the benches on the other side of the valley to see if possibly I could get a, a jump start on where the deer were hanging out wintering by seeing where the trails were through the snow in their beds, where I used to fill up pack frames with antlers every spring easily. And I hiked up there on top of the frozen crust and uh, I didn't find one freaking set of deer prints, not one bed. I found 100% zero deer sign. Now imagine being on the receiving end of that discovery after hunting this special place for the last nine years and seeing the wolves come in and start to multiply like crazy and, and swiftly and systematically they annihilated everything in the area. <laughs> everything. And uh, that's pretty frustrating when you know there are unused trap lines in the area and you can't touch them because the loser skid bag trap line owners haven't touched the thing since the 1980s and they will not give people permission to trap on those trap lines and the government who used to enforce the rules where they will submit a permit to trap when there has not been any fur shown submitted from that trap line in the past two years and they're not doing that anymore either and it's absolute bullshit because it just shows you that actually nobody really truly cares about conservation and the ungulates of British Columbia and that is a fact so that was frustrating to watch so uh, I could only hope and cross my fingers that what he was doing is going to keep him alive and uh, spring came and I went and I thumped out I think 16 cameras and I backpacked close to 200 pounds of salt up the mountain and spread them out into the areas that he's frequenting all last summer he was growing. And uh, I come up with two does and two bucks once. And uh, bucks I didn't know about. The one younger month, the one younger buck, he might have been one of the bucks they were hanging with him last summer. But either way, um, it kind of made me more relieved and more hopeful because all five of the bucks that were on the cameras all summer last summer, all five of them didn't show this spring or the summer, including Zeus, not one of them. And that's actually a good sign because that means that bachelor group, they went somewhere else to go grow for the summer, some unknown location. And also take note back in last spring, when I went hiking in there, the first time with salt on my back at 10 in the morning in the sunshine, I turn around and there's a pack of freaking wolves walking up my ass less than 100 yards away from me. And I had no weapon, of course. So that also gave me a strong, firm idea that the wolves probably pushed them out it gave me a feeling that the wolves probably pushed them out completely, which is fine. Because, now picture this one, if, if four of the bachelor pack or even three of the bachelor pack came back and hit all the cameras normally like they did last summer, that would have told me that Zeus is more likely dead. <laughs> For sure, because if he wasn't dead, he'd be with them. But uh, it turns out the entire gang is missing and they haven't shown once. So that is a very big plus because it's obvious that they are summering somewhere else. But the good thing about it is, is every single fall, every single November, December through this through Zeus's lifetime and this other huge buck that's hanging with him, they always come to this zone during November, always for his whole life. So I'm pretty confident it's going to be a showdown this November. So I backed right off running around in there looking because it was just a waste of time. I probably did about eight hikes in there this summer, spread out over time. Nothing, 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 nothing. Zero is what it is. So now I'm going to go about my usual routine, go up north, grab an elk, possibly grab a moose, grab a stone sheep, come home, 
and then get geared up and then come November 1st, it's gonna be full-time predator. I'm gonna hunt those two mountains every single day as though I am hunting Zeus and he's alive right there because that's what I'm gonna to have to do to get him. And uh, that's just what I'm gonna to have to do and that's what I'm gonna do easily because I, deep down I'm pretty sure he's alive and he's fine and he will show up November and uh, I'm gonna get an arrow in him. <laughs> So there you go. So there is the report. I know it was slow in the Blacktail reports, slow on putting posts on the Blacktail page. It's because I have literally been all over the map doing all sorts of shit. You wouldn't believe it's been on my plate. You'd think I was an absolute psycho if you knew everything that I had on the go. But I'm doing it. So uh, uh, what else? Uh, again, make sure you download the Blacktail Hunter app. Um, I think I had a success email from people who downloaded that app. I, all through last fall, I had one to two people emailing me basically every single day of the season last year from Alaska to California, um, sharing the success that they got, which the, they gave credit to the Blacktail Hunter app helping them directly. And that's pretty freaking exciting because um, I built these apps with my own money, my own knowledge, and I refused sponsorship. So I would not have to lie to you guys or try to get your money. And uh, there's zero, uh, neurotic celebrities association with any of my shit. Um, all of my apps are geared up to focus on knowledge, which is going to help you in the field, and that's all it is. It's straight up, honest, professional knowledge to help you guys. That's it. And um, the app's still out there. I'll put a link in uh, in the text description on this YouTube video now. And uh, if uh, you can, or if you know anybody who this app could possibly help, uh, make sure you share it with them because it's a it's a big big help and it'll it'll bump up the quality in your uh, it'll bump up the quality in the animals you harvest it'll help fill up your freezer and it as well will help greatly with conservation in your zone so uh, it's a big plus plus and I just need a, a little bit of a favor from you guys to help me uh, spread these things around and get the word out about them and that is about it all right so uh, I will be back with more Blacktail Hunter news the second I start running around chasing them, which is probably going to be the first week of November. And in the meantime, if any of you are chasing elk or moose or any of the other big game animals, uh, make sure you grab the big game hunting app as well. That sucker's so freaking handy. It's absolutely stupid. It's in over 30 countries now, believe it or not. It's amazing. And uh, it's helped literally thousands of outdoors people around the world. And that's uh, really handy as well. And then I might as well make, while I'm here, I might as well make mention of the Stillwater Fly Fishing app. Um, again, that thing is full of absolute professional knowledge. It was ranked as the second best fly fishing app in the world last year in its first year, second to only Orvis. And uh, no disrespect to Orvis, but I'm pretty sure they got first place only because of the name. Because I checked out their app and it is even a quarter of helpful as the Stillwater Fly Fishing app. So if you know any fly fishermen, uh, do us a favor too and let them know about it and, and the link will be in the text description for that app as well. And here we go! I'm on the west coast of British Columbia right now. I don't know if you can see it but the ocean's behind me in the timber and uh, there's shallow all around me and ferns and I'm in uh, hardcore blacktail zone right now big time. And uh, it's pretty refreshing to be here after being up in the north and all the willow. And uh, here we go. So there you go. That's the news. That's the update. Zeus will be mine. <laughs> And he'll be here shortly, and I'll share him with all of you. And uh, good luck to every single person out there. And uh, never give up. There we go.